So yeah, if I did, it's probably jacked up. But um, I just wanted to come back and say, you know, for what Ben said about me not having a brand or, you know, that I could never be a beloved or, you know, whatever. It, those are not the exact words, but it's similar to it. And I just need to say that I don't want to be beloved. Yes, you do. I don't want yes, you do. You got a brand, but you just don't know how to go about trying to put it out there. Every YouTube creator got a brand if they put the effort to it. The same way Be Love did. But yeah, you want to be Be Love. You can't. To be Be Love. I need to be me. I want to be me. Because Adrian slays. And I know Slaying that. what? The streets? So at the end of the day, that's what it's about to me. Okay? If anything, I feel more disappointed that you know uh, that you all got ripped off some of y'all you know the people that bought merchandise and see with that she not understanding the whole transaction that goes on with it she don't understand the middleman she don't understand that everybody got to get paid so all she know is that bottom dollar is three dollars and some change and she ain't happy with it. Don't even know the whole concept of the business of going on. But want to get up here and talk shit about somebody that want to help her. Makes me feel some type of a way. Let's go, you dumb as hell. at this point, the only thing I can do is, you know, somebody did suggest, they just, I just read the comments. Somebody suggested to put it on the community wall, which I am going to go back and do. But honey. She don't realize this, oh. it takes time. It takes time to do anything. You ain't going to get rich just like that. What do you expect? You thought you were going to get the whole $22? Just dumb for no reason. I am very comfortable in my skin. Okay? I love me. Alright? You got to be as fucked up as you is. a lot of other people do too. And a lot of times people just want to be low key about it. You know, they they like you. You know, this, this is what I'm getting reading, getting reading into it. You know, y'all, they like you, but at the same time, they it's like almost like they despise you. If that makes sense, you know, family, friends. I'm just saying, why, why waste that energy if you don't like me? You know what you can do. I love you too, Andre. It ain't the point about nobody don't like you. They don't like your damn ways, the lying, the conniving, the meanness, the backstabbing, disloyalty. That's what the fuck it is. Nobody care how you live your life. You live your life the way you want to live it. And shit, I ain't contributing to it. I ain't paying your bills, so... If you like it, like they say, if you like it, I love it. Shit. That's your life. But it's just the way you be doing. It's the way that you do people. And the lies that you be telling. This mug mouth bitch had the audacity to tell. Well, now he said I could say it. I had a nerd to tell Benji that somebody told her that I told them I was dying. I said, if I started laughing when he said it, I was like, what? I said, this bitch here got jokes. That's what that is. Exactly. That's all that is, jokes. I'm dying. Hell, fuck around, karma, come on you. You be the one. You the one that's dying. Out there drugging and doing anything, yeah. You the one that got um, that limit on you. Cause if somebody don't kill your ass or you don't drown, yeah, them drugs gonna take you down. So, 
Don't speak on something that might turn around on you, baby. But I don't understand why she... I mean, it's funny because she... He said the way she said it, like she was so serious. Like some I, me, myself, told her that myself. I said, what in the hell did she drug, drag up some shit like that? Now, I mean, now I know she just uh, crazy as fuck. That's all that is. That bitch crazy as fuck now. I try to give her the benefit of the doubt to some things. But now, you just make up lies for no damn reason. You know, just confirm it now. What I always say, I don't believe shit come out of your mouth. Nothing. And I, you know, I don't understand it. Because if she'd have told me some shit like that about somebody, I'd have had to question it. I had to be like, well, why did y'all don't even get along? Now, how the hell was somebody that know her, know you? No, that ain't even happening. I would have knew straight up that that was a lie when it came out of her mouth. And yeah, it might have been because she might have been heavy on drugs and wanting to speak, speak dumb shit, but yeah. I'd have left her out that damn car. But, you know, fucking with her, you got to let her think that she in, you got to let her believe that she in charge. Because he was already there, so he couldn't defuse it to the point like disagree with her or challenge her. Because then that would have been the end of the video. And he wouldn't have had nothing. He wouldn't have had nothing to, um, you know, she would have ended it right there just because of her attitude, because things, you know, he wanted to challenge her. So I understand him not getting into it with her or questioning it because of the fact that, you know, it might have jeopardized him getting the interview that he wanted. So, but yeah, ain't no parts of, we all dying and shit, we just don't know when. But, her behalf, shit, nigga, you the one that's out there on the damn streets, everybody after your black ass, shit, from pillar to post, don't know who you live in, don't know who you laying with, all up under strangers and shit, you don't know what them, you don't know what they feeding you, but you eating everybody's shit, laying in everybody's shit, girl. And I'm I'm the one dying. <laughs> shit. Mm-hmm. You out there doing every drug that you possibly can. You didn't call and want to call and text him for um fifty dollars to get some high price weed. Who do that? Yeah, but then, like I said, I, the shit like that, you can't believe nothing come out of nobody's damn mouth like that. I always told y'all, I mean, I may give her the benefit of doubt on some things, but, you know, my whole, my bottom line is that when she say shit, I don't believe, like I say, I don't believe nothing come out of her mouth. Unless she got proof. Now she talking about a damn RV that she talking about getting. Girl, you ain't get until you see, until, just like it was with that boat, until I see it, that's when I'm going to believe it. That's how I'm going to go, that's how I'm going to get down with it. Until I see her in the RV, and that's when I'm going to believe it. Until then, it ain't nothing but a lie. And if Jeffrey know, like I know, the way she talks shit about him, from what I hear, and his receipts on it, he going to kick her ass to the curb. He ain't get ready to keep fucking with her. They all, she already done, you know, started something with him. He ain't gonna be in it long. But her time, her, her time, to, what's the fuck running out? Keep fucking with people and stealing, stealing that shit. Her time just was uh, running the fuck out. Don't fuck around and be talking, talking about your own grave, bitch. But you the one that got to look over your shoulders left and right. When you're doing shit. And that's another thing. She tried to act like she's so damn scared. Adrian ain't nothing but a damn character and an actor. Whatever fits the situation, that's what that's who she is. Ain't like I said, you know, a lot of y'all believe, you know, she got this mental illness. Ain't the bitch ain't got no mental illness. She just crazy as fuck. She do crazy shit. She know what she doing. 
a hustler. Always trying to hustle somebody. So she got to have these different characters and shit. Because she with these different people. Doing different shit. Ain't nothing crazy. Just mean as hell. And don't give a fuck about shit. She don't even give a fuck about herself. Look how she carry herself. So all that shit is an act. Just like she talking about she care about Bela. So I was wondering. Like why all of a sudden now. She keep talking about, Oh I love Bethany. I love Bethany. I was thinking like. Why the hell does she keep saying it? Now realize it. You know. She ain't never gave a fuck about her. But the truth gonna come out. Mm-hmm. All that behind the scenes shit, it gonna come out. You running your mouth and telling shit and saying shit. Then want to get up here and act like, oh, you humble, you done changed. Ain't shit changed about you, ho. Nothing. You just you still the low down dirty scum that you are. You know, and been giving you the benefit of the doubt. You know that's out. I'm done. Cause. Like I told Benji, ain't ain't no helping to her. Ain't no being no nice to her. It's something about it when she feel like things are getting close and things are being normal. It's just something about being normal with her that she ain't that uh she ain't with. She not gonna put up with. When it can start getting normal, then she causes a confusion. That's what she do. She know when she made this video and nutted up, she know we're gonna come back with with the consequences that, you know, shit gonna be told on her, the truth gonna be told. And she want it. She want that type of um she want it. She want to be so she can have some content. That's all the hell it is. See, cause she ain't got no content. She boring as hell. You know. Only reason people watch was she don't want to understand and uh except only people only reason they tune in is because of be love baby if you want connected to be love i promise you you wouldn't be this damn popular in this youtube damn street i promise promise you won't and wouldn't but all that come by y'all i'm done with it you can go on to hell with that yeah so when benji put out his video with the real truth yeah, all that shit, you gonna have to come with it. All that shit, you done change, and you ain't with this, and you ain't with that. The bi A big liar, big liar, schemer, which, you know, I, like I said, I ain't never put no trust in them. I just sometimes, yeah, well, okay, let's give her the benefit of the doubt. But I see you can't get that bubblehead bitch that. So, you know. As far as I'm concerned, it is what it is, and let the ball roll, baby, where it may lay. Because you ran your mouth, you put your mouth on shit, you stirred in shit, and then you made it stink. Let's get it. Come on, Benji, with it. And I'm out. Let's wait for, let's wait for the explosion. Let's wait for it, because it's coming. All her lies get ready to catch up with her, which they always do. Anybody she fuck with, and then she turn on them, they come back with, you know, they try to save her. Not wanting to put shit out there on, on her. But she go do and say some dumb shit, and that's when they got to come back and be like, okay, let me go and tell your mouth off and get you correct real quick. Gotta try to be nice. Same thing, Nicole try to be nice to her. But she want to keep running her mouth. And she made it happen. She made it happen. But see, what she didn't, what she don't realize, you put people in your personal shit. And I think she wanted out there. Because if you didn't, you wouldn't, ain't no way in hell you would sit and continue to tell people that you meeting off in YouTube or meeting in the street, just going and constantly telling them your personal shit. Knowing you going to cause some confusion. And then that going to cause them to tell the personal shit about you. So she, like I said, it's a cycle. It's a pattern. She know what she doing. She want them to put her on blast. She don't give a fuck. 
Cause ain't no way it done happened too many times for her to really for her not to know the consequences. It started with Lu, uh, Lucille. She know they were gonna hit the fan, and ever since she been dealing with people, ever since uh, the incident with Lucille, it's the same pattern and the same shit that she do. She do the collab after she do the collab, or she don't do the collab. It's always some shit with it. Like it is now. So that's her M.O. That's all it is. She need content. So she do this shit. Because somebody I know. If I know. If I was somebody like her. That fuck with people. Ain't no way in hell. I'm going to put you in my personal shit. I'm going to let you see personal shit I do. Because it's going to be a fact that. They going to come back and put it on blast. Because she going to do something to cause them to do it. Because she going to start telling lies on them. And once you, tell, once you start lying on somebody, what's the next thing a person want to do? Defend their name. Defend what they said. She know that. So like I said, she, all this right here, she had planned. And she going to get what she want. Until then, I'm out. I love y'all. Don't forget to make somebody smile. Even if you don't want to. And who knows. I just might be back live. If the explosion hit the fan tonight. Love y'all. Mwah.